Okay, then we look through the binomial theorem. Last time, I think we, I say that I wanted to go through the example because it's on page 90. Okay, find in extending power of the first three terms, 1 plus x, power of 6, uh, and hence obtain the coefficient of x square in the expansion of oh my sister is coming back 1 plus minus 3 minus 4x high 6 okay can you come okay so this is so this is the 1 plus 6 they ask you to expand to this thing so there are two methods here. The man how Okay, so method one. Okay. Wow, what is that? Okay, so one plus minus three x minus four x, you can factorize that into what? One plus minus three x plus four x minus six. Okay, so one plus minus three x minus four x minus six. Okay, so one plus minus three x minus four x minus six. Okay, so Okay, so these are factorized. So when you factorize this thing, it will give you this, right? So then you multiply these two terms into this thing. So lucky us, the first two terms, the first two terms, and it both have one. Okay, you know that there's one here. So then they were asking you to find the x square term in this expansion. So what should we do? So normally one plus x, uh, the power of six is one, one, two, three, three, one, one, four, six, one, four. Okay, one, five, ten, ten, five, one, one, six, fifteen, twenty, fifteen. 6 and 1. So this is expansion here. Alternatively, okay, we can do this expansion. They ask you to find the first three terms. So these are the first three terms. So which is 1? 6 is become 1 plus 6x plus 15 6x squared dot dot dot. Okay, so this is the one that you will get. However, just now, we get two terms here. First term, I think from here, you must be able to get what I'm saying because you need to listen. Huh? So this is 4x. You sub into this, sub into this. So the first term, I put in the red color. It becomes 1 plus 6x plus 15x squared. The second term is 1 plus 6 minus 4x. You look at the color here, minus 4x. Do you need a map to your room? No. Plus 15 minus 4x squared. Got it? So you just expand it. It becomes 1 minus 24x. And then 15 times 4 times 4 is 60. 60 times 4 is 240. X squared, blah, blah, blah. Okay? So then you do rainbow. Alright, how to do rainbow? Okay. So, they ask you for x square. So, you ask you for x square term. So, you look at term number one. How do you get x square term? You need to multiply by the square term here. Am I right? The green one merge with the green one here. And the second term, this term, 6x square, 6x, you need to multiply by minus 24. You get x squared term. Thirdly, I use 
turquoise. This 15, you need to multiply by 1. Am I right? So it's not just that you need to multiply everything or else you have no times. 9 times 3 times 3 is 9 terms. Okay? So x squared term, it becomes 1 times 240x squared is 240x squared. Second, 6x times minus 24, it becomes, okay, 144x squared. Okay, 15x times 1 becomes 15x squared. So you just need to add it together. Okay. 24 minus 144 plus 15. Okay. It's 2, 5, 5, 144. Four. Just, it becomes 111. Got it? So this is how we do it. Alright. Second method, which mentioned in the books, 1 minus 3x plus minus 4x squared, 6, huh? you need to merge this, okay, to 1 plus x, 6. So, if you don't like x, you can let it to be y. I'd rather you like it to be y. Okay, so what you need to do is that, it's 1, 6, 15, for the coefficients. So you just sub it in. 1 plus 6 minus 3x minus 4x squared plus 15 minus 3x minus 4x squared square. This is the preferred way because actually it will, it will be simple for you to do it. Yeah, so 1. Okay, so this is 1. Okay, nothing to do with square term. So this is 6. The square term is this thing minus 24 x squared so now left with this term okay so this term is a bit tricky but it's nothing but you have to use your judgment now so this is minus 3x minus 4x squared okay a squared plus 2ab plus b squared you need to memorize the formula by now. Or else you can't make it. Uh, I can tell you that. So you look at this thing. The index here is 1. This is 2. It's 3. So it's not an x squared term. The index here is 2 times 2. 4. So it's not an x squared term. So only left with this thing. Which is minus 3x times minus 3x is 9x squared. Right? So, but this is 15 times 9. Okay. So, just now we look at this. This is minus 24. So, the coefficient is 15 times 9 minus 24. So, what you get? It is 1, 3, 9, 45, 1, 3, 5, minus 24. So, it's 1, 1, 1. So, isn't it simple? So this is a simple term, but you need to understand uh, your a squared minus a squared plus a squared plus two ab plus b squared formula by heart. From now you need to remember already. You cannot excuse that you don't remember. You don't remember, then I think you need to more, you need more practice. So this is why I want to tell talk about this this uh this uh this exercise. Then from page 19, 91, ask you to find the coefficient of x squared. In the expansion of 1 minus 3x plus 2x squared plus 10. Okay, you can use two methods, but I prefer you use this method. Let y equals to minus 3x plus 2x squared. Okay, so remember that, okay, this is a bit tricky because the x squared term will happen in dr plus 1 equals to c 10 r y r when r equals to 1 uh, okay because y is minus 3x plus 2x squared so you have this term so
So R equal to R actually do have two x x square term. When R equals to two, ah, uh, when R equals to two, you have C n two R square. So this is. y equals to minus 3 plus 2x square right so y square it become minus 3 plus 2x square square so you see this the first term here will be square which is same as what we get up but the next term here it's not square, it's third term. This is fourth term. So you have to be very resilient when you look at the coefficient, which is not so easy. Therefore, you need practices. Okay? If you are not very familiar with algebra, especially. So this is 9x squared. So you have another term here. You need to multiply by the coefficient, then you get the thing. So please complete the tutorial. Second, expand 1 plus 2x plus x squared power of 8 uh, in ascending power of x up to x cubed term. So, find the constant. Hence, uh, they ask you to find the constant for 3 minus 2x cubed uh, plus 1 plus 2x plus x squared 6, 8. From here, I give you a hint. This is your a square plus 2ab plus b square. 1 plus 2x plus x square, okay, is 1 plus 2x plus x square. So, in fact, you can make it like 1 plus x square, 8 become 1 plus x, the perfect 16. Okay, then this is 3 minus 2x at the bottom. Uh, 1 plus x, 16. Uh. This, please use the index. It helps you to realize that how you're going to come up with your... Okay, how you're going to... They say that up to s cubed term, right? So then... You expand this first because the question asks you to expand to s cubed term. So it's very really simple. S cubed term is that 1 plus 16x because this is cn 16 1. Uh. You need to memorize the thing. But I hope I have code. Uh. 6, 15 times 5, 15, 2 times 1 is 8. Then this is x squared. So 8 times 5 is 40. 40 plus 4. 8 plus 4 is 120. So 120 here. So it is 1 plus 16 plus 120 x squared. Okay, then you need to multiply back. Okay, multiply back. So what do they ask you? Find the what? Find the constant term. So the constant term, find it. First, the constant term, you know that this is constant. Any constant have to multiply constant to get constant. Am I right? So then, so at here, you need to know what constant term is. Uh, minus 1, you need to multiply by x. Then you get x minus 1 plus 1 equals to x 0. So it's 1. You got constant term also. So this thing is not a constant term. So the only possibility that's 3 multiplies plus 1 and also minus 12, minus 1 minus 2 multiplied by 16. So it's minus 8 and 3. So you get it minus 5. So these are the things that how you do this question number 2. Huh? Please practice it again. If you don't know, do it until you know. Do it until you know how to do it. Okay?
A recording. Now he will read. So then find the things down so he doesn't have time. So find the specific term using the formula given the general term. Uh. Okay. 4 plus x divided by 2, 13. In ascending power of x. How do we do that? The x term. Uh. Okay. So you need to use our general term formula. Okay. For this ascending power. So which means that this will become 30 minus R, the left hand term. Right hand term will become R. Because R equals 0, this is 0. R equals 1, this is 1. It's ascending. Okay. R is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, blah, blah. Okay. So it say X terms. Are. X terms means that R plus 1 equals to 8. R equals to X minus 1 is 7. Okay. Then you sub it in. Thirteen minus three is six. Okay, this is one over two is seven. So you get five four nine one two x seven. Okay, got it. So this is an example. Then they ask you to practice now. Find the Find the answer of this. You please practice. Huh? You don't practice, you don't know why is it. Huh? The fifth term of 3 plus 1 over 3x is huh? 16. And y over x minus 2xy, 2x square y, 12. Okay? The fifth term. Huh? So how to do that? You need to think about it. How to do it? First, Write the general term. Everything starts with the general term. Okay? If this is TR, then write TR for A. You don't have time to waste already, huh? Please do it right, huh? Okay? 16 minus R, 1 over 3x R. So then you do it something like that. 1 over 3 is 3 minus 1 index, x minus 1. From now, you must know that this is a bracket in and out, multiply together, okay? I don't want to repeat this again. Uh. You need to practice. If not, then I'll give you more exercise to do. So this is 16 R. You look at the neon, it's not very visible, but you can read through. So 16 minus R, 2 R, and and x out so you just start five in okay so the other one is what b uh. again t r plus one equals to 12 r y minus y x uh. this is 12 minus r the other end is minus 2x 2x square y okay r you look at this thing minus uh. You need to incorporate minus. Huh? Take care of the minus, please. You don't take care of minus, you can't do the thing. Huh? Please. Huh? Bearing in mind. Huh? Okay? You always make this mistake. Huh? This, is your, this is your mistake. Huh? Ah, you be careful. Huh? So this is equals to trial out. Why? If I were you, I would just put it all in index form. From now, you must be able to switch. Huh? This is x minus 1 uh, so it become r minus 12 times minus 1 r okay 2x r y minus r okay so now you get it, them together okay this is r r actually you can put it like 12 r minus 2 r got it you need to be familiar with this thing practice it again if you don't know how to do Alright, you need to be familiar with this thing. If you don't remember this thing, do it many, many times. Okay, do until you know how to do. Okay? Don't do the new question, do an old one.
Okay, because you are not up to a new question yet. I can tell that even you don't know this thing, uh, people will not allow you to go poly even. Okay, you can tell that. Uh. So 2, 12 minus 2 hour, uh, x, uh, 3 hour minus two, 12. Uh. So these are the general terms. So your 5, 5 will give you the thing. Okay, please do the thing diligently. There's one example, work example, they're finding the specific terms where hours to be determined. Uh. They give you an example here. Find the general term in the binomial expansion of this thing. The general term is this. La. 20 R, 2X, 20 minus R, okay. 1 over 4X R, minus here. So, this is to test you, how are you, how good are you in algebra, okay? How good are you in algebra? If you are not good in algebra, you are screwed, man. This sort of question, uh, you'll never get answer. Can tell you that. 12, 20 out, multiply the index of 2 and x. Uh. It's not 2 and x, uh, it's the index. Uh. Remember, ha. Huh? Okay, you always make this mistake, ah. Uh. This is not a mistake, this is an error. This is a fatal error. Could amount you to zero marks. Uh. Okay? Minus one, minus two, minus two, x minus one. Oh. From here, after so many lessons, you should know that one over four is two minus two index. Uh. Okay? Please ah. Uh. Then equals to 20 out, 2 20 out, so this is x 20 out, then minus 2, okay, this is a bit tricky, because you have minus 2 here, so how are you going to address to it, later I teach you how, okay, but at here, if you have minus 2 here, what you need to do is that, this is minus 1, so you put minus 1, Oh, then minus then two there's no minus two anymore then two minus two ah uh, and hour uh, multiply together please ah uh. minus two hours uh, not two hours uh. okay ah uh. you always make this mistake ah uh. ah uh, don't make this mistake again ah uh. x ah uh, minus r okay. So you need to merge them together. I hope that you won't mix it. I think you will be very sober, okay? Just be careful when you do. 20 minus R and then you need to do it fast because you are not fast enough. Therefore, you always you always take a lot of time to do. So you got to practice it. Familiar with the index form. If you don't do it, you only listen to my video. Ah. It's just like you're learning swimming with the video uh, I can tell you that uh. so you know that it won't happen uh, if you want to you want to get past in your test uh. remember that you only have Mx uh, and Emx uh, you only six subject you cannot afford to fail anyone uh. so it's 30 minus 3 out X Okay, 20 minus R, 20 minus 2 R. Okay, so you got this thing. Okay, so you got 3 R term. R here, R here, R here. Okay, R here also. Alright. So now, what do you need to do? They ask you the what to do. Write down the power of X in the general term. So it's already done the power X already. Write down the power of X. In the, the power of X is that. 20 minus 2 out. So the third one, hence or otherwise, determine A, the term containing x6. Uh. Second, the term independent of x. So independent of x means that the index is 0. Uh. 
Okay, so the index is 6 here. La. Okay, so it's very simple. 20 for question A, uh, 20 minus 2R is 6. Okay, R is equal to 7. So for this, 20 minus 2R is 0. R is 10. So you just sub it in. No? Uh, so it's what? 27 minus 1, 7. 2, 20 minus 3 times 7, minus 1, okay, x6, okay, so minus 1, 7 is what, minus, right, so you just, you just use your calculator, if you don't like, you can use a factorial to calculate this thing, times 2 over 1, okay, then, this is what, 20 times 19 times 18, times 17 times 16 times 15 times 14, this is 7, 7, Okay, then you just use calculator la, easier. La. So then, after that, this is 10. La. 20, 10. La. Okay. Minus 1, 10 la, is 1 la, exactly. La. So this is what? 2, 20 minus 10 times 3 times 10. La. Then you have this x0. x0 is what? Zero ah, one ah. So this is twenty to ten. You just you just press the calculator. What is the option here? This is plus one ah. Okay, this is two power minus ten. Okay, then you just need to do this sum. Okay, understand ah. So there is one thing they want to highlight to you. The minus R here, you can resolve it to what? Minus 1 for R times 1 over X R. So this is becoming minus 1 R, okay? 2 minus R and X minus R. You understand why it's 2 minus R or not? This is 1 over 4 R, this is 1 over X R, this is 1 R, this is 2, minus 2 R, this is X minus 1 R. So this is minus 1 R, this is 2, minus 2 R, this is X minus R. Okay, so these are the things you need to understand. Huh? So there are some of the practice questions. Practice questions here, 11. Uh. So it's page 92. So one, find the general term of this. Again, I want you to do that. Something like that. You you have been trying hard. Uh. Please uh, use the index form. Uh. Don't be poo -poo, uh. Do the thing. There are, both, there are two ways of doing this thing. First, uh, I will, like what I have told you from all the, all the lectures. Uh. You need to practice uh, anyway. Got it? You see, this is one, uh, I'm very happy because one, uh, I don't need to think too much. Uh. Okay, so the general term is See, even I have a problem of flipping it over. Uh. See that? So you need to make sure that whenever you examine, uh, you need to make sure that uh, Okay, when you flip uh, you should contain the thing in a very correct manner. Uh. This is minus x. Uh. I put a minus x. Uh. You always forget minus. Uh. Please uh, remember minus. Uh. Then this is r. Okay. So then x 22, 11 r, minus 1 r, uh, x minus 3 r. Okay. Got it all. Uh. 
Then this is x22, this is minus 3 out, so we can merge. Okay, can? Uh, then he say that write down the power of x in the general term, okay? So write down the general term, write down the power of x in the general term. So the, the power of x is what? The range is 22 minus 3 out. La. So then, this is the power x x. You look at the textbook. La. So thirdly, right hand or otherwise la, determine the con the term containing x9 and the term independence of x. So if independent of x and x die, how do you determine? So it's 22 minus 3x equals to 9. La. So 3r three, uh, three, three uh, equals to what? Okay. Yeah, did wrongly. This is 3, right? 11, right? Oh, this is 11. Oh, okay, this is R. R, correct. R. Okay, so 22 minus 3 R. Oh, so 9. The term community X 9. Oh, this is trial. I'm so sorry. You see, somehow I also very careless. Huh? This is trial. Twelve. Twelve. So this is 24. You see how I rectify the problem? Why I know how, what's the problem here? Because I know that it's not an index. It's not an integer. So... 22 minus 3 R equals to 9 doesn't give me R as an integer. So I know that I'm in big trouble. So I rectify this thing. You can be same as me. With the exam, uh, if you see that uh, you are running out of time, but you see that uh, something is not integer, uh, then you better go and check the things out. So it's 24 minus 4 X for 3 R. So then this is 9, right? It's 24 minus 3 R equals to 9. So this is what? 24 minus R is what? Uh, 15. So R itself is 5. Got it? Huh? So this is C. 12, 5, minus 1, R, 5, times X. 9. Then become CN5 minus R. So this is the thing. The other thing is the independent of x. Uh. So independent of x, 24 minus 3r is equal to 0. Okay, you need to solve this by yourself. Uh. r equals to 8. Uh. Then you sub it in. Uh. Good. Second question. In the expansion of this, the coefficient of 4 and 5 are uh, the coefficient. Uh, in the ratio of 3 equals 16. Uh, find the value of k. Uh. I think this is very simple. Uh. I think you can do it yourself. Uh, okay, Please do it. Uh. I'm not going to solve it because I've I done it many times already. Uh. But bearing in mind that it's 3 out plus 1 uh, is C23. You just need to be careful. Uh, not careless. Uh. Out 3, 30 minus out kx out. Okay? So when R equals to 4, you get a coefficient. R equals to 5, you got a coefficient. A and B. Though you do the ratio, 16. Huh? Okay. Third, find the coefficient of X in the expansion of this. Two way lah. First, you can use this thing straight away. It shouldn't make no difference. Uh. 16 out, 2x. 
60 minus r1 uh, 1 over 1 over 4x r okay you just need to do it huh? you need to do it you don't have time anymore you need to do it yourself okay but i'll give you some answer here Two R minus two R, sixty minus R. Okay, so then you merge this thing together. Okay, so these are the thing. All right. Find a coefficient of x in the expansion. Okay. If x ah, uh, this sixty minus r equals to one, no? so r equals to five, no? you sub it in, uh, will do. Okay. Reflection. What do I really know about expansion one plus n b n would give guide my ending for the n plus c solution. Okay. One plus b n uh, will give you uh, t n r uh, equals to c n r uh, b n b r because one something is something ma so it's one ma but a plus n a plus b to power of n will give you t r one equals to c n r a n minus r b r so you look at this essentially if your n equals to one ah, it become one plus b n okay so second reflection what when finding the expansion of trinomial how do i decide the way of term to be grouped Okay, very simple. If you have the trinomial term, for example, ax plus bx square, you put the one here, la, constant term. Then separate the non constant term. Okay, so for instance, you have c plus ax plus bx square. How do you do that? If let's say so complicated and this is n. Uh, so what I need to do is that C, you get it of C here. 1 plus AX plus BX square divided by C. Then you have CN 1 plus AX plus A square C N. So then your T 1 plus R equals to C N. This C is not your choice, it's not your, it's not your choose, huh? this is C. C is a constant, small c. Cap, small letter C. Huh? So this is 1 plus, okay, Bx plus Ax square divided by C times N. Huh? And you have this term, huh? this is the constant. They ask you to look for general terms of this. Huh? So the general term is that, okay, C N R B X plus A X square divided by C R, okay. So in total, it will give you C N R small C times B X plus A X square. If I see R. Got it? Okay, got it. Huh? So then, the last thing application of binomial theorem in the real world context. They ask you the first question, they ask you to do what? On a page. Page uh, 93, find the first four term in the expansion of this in the ascending order. Use the result to estimate 1 plus 1, 1 1.01 to the power of 9. Okay, leave your answer to six decimal place. Uh.
Do you know why is it? And then use your calculator to estimate the value. Which digit of the estimate value is incorrect? Okay, how do we do that? You can look at the books, uh, but I will teach you how. Uh, 1 plus x to the power of 9. So you are asked to do this thing. 1 by 0, 1 to the power of 9. From now, you already know uh, this is 1. 1 by 0, 1 is equal to 1 plus 10 to the power of minus 1. Correct? Agree? You must be able to transform your 1, po 1 plus 0, 1 to this 1 plus 10 to the power of 1. Uh. So then subsequently, your 1 plus 9x power of 9 uh, is equal to 1 plus 10 to the power of 1, 9. So it says six decimal place. Uh. Six decimal place means that you probably, because this is 10 to the power of minus 1. Okay, one decimal place means that it's in the index is 1, because it's minus 1. Uh. Two decimal place uh, means that the index is 2. Six means that index is 6. Uh. So it's pretty lengthy actually. Get it? Six decimal place. Eh. Oh. oh, sorry, this is 0 0.01. See, I make mistake again. This is not 1, this is 0 0.01. So it's minus 2. Because it is 0 0.01, so it's minus 2. Because 0 0.01 is 10 to the power of minus 2. Okay? So I make mistake again. So you know that it's minus 2, ah. Uh, one decimal play is index one. No, two decimal play is index one. So four decimal plays is index two. Six decimal play is index three. You know why? Because minus two ah, uh, you got three ah, uh, give you ten to the power minus six one. So you got three. So it's x to the power of three. So I mean, x power of three, x power of two, x power of one. So you have to expand out to x power of 3. So using binomial theorem, uh, you will have, we know that c not 1 is 1, c not 1, c, c, c choose 0 is 1, c choose 1 is 1, is 9, c choose 2 is, I was very lazy to get calculator, so i rather use a hand to calculate. So 9 times 8 divided by 2, 8 is 36. C two three is nine nine pictorial six pictorial so nine times eight times seven so three is six ah uh, three pictorial is six this is three this is four so it is twelve times seven eighty four. Okay, so what you get here is that you get 1 plus 9x plus 36x squared plus 84x cubed. Okay, dot dot dot. So you sub in your 9, your minus 2 here. 10 to the power minus 2, uh, it's not minus 2. Then you got the answer. Okay, so this is what it is. Use your calculator or whoever to do la. But I think no need to la. Here this is nine. This is zero point zero nine, zero point zero nine, some some something 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 ah. Uh. So now you saying that practice now. Question twelve. Find the first four term of the expansion one plus x square to the power of ten uh, in the ascending order of this thing and estimate one plus zero one result so even though it's the first four term we know that it is like 1 10 cn2 cn3 right first four terms are so first four term you have the what this x square ma oh so you let your x to be 10 to the power minus 1 ah. x square is 10 to the power minus 2 ah. 
that's it lah. I mean, that is not a very simple, difficult task, but you just need to expand it. And then here become x square instead of x. Ah. Got it? Okay, second question. I mean, don't waste time lah. This sort of question you have to practice ah. I don't need to go through with you ah. Find the first four term is 1 plus 4x ah. In the ascending orders of power. In the value of 0 0.1, okay, 1.028. Correct to four decimal place. This is a bit challenging because you're four x here. So actually, it's not so challenging, sir. Four x doesn't mean a lot of things, sir. So, so then again, no, this is one, right? So your one, you okay? One, you minus of one point zero two. What you get? Zero point zero two minus, right? So your okay, or the other way around, right? 0 0.1.002 minus 1, you get 0 0.02, right? So, 0 0.02 equals to 4. Right? Okay? X, ah. So, your X, ah, will become what? Will become 0 0.0. 0 0.0. 0 0.05. Correct? So this is equal to 5 times 10 to the power of minus 3. Alright. So what you need to do is that they say that 4 decimal place. So in very simple 4 decimal. So it already give you 3 decimal place already. 0 0.05 for the first constant term. If I have a square term, it will give you 30, 25 times 10 to the power of minus 6. So that one is a lot of decimal place ah. so what you need to do is that you need to expand this until to the x square term until the x square term means that it's 0 1 2 so first three terms you do lor. okay so first three terms are you become 1 plus 8 times 4 x ah, plus Seven times one, you know, six, two, four x square. So equals to one plus thirty two x plus um. Twenty eight, four x square. So you just sub your x ah. Uh. So this is twenty eight times sixteen ah. Uh. Four times two is eight. Eight plus three is one one. Okay. So you times four again. It is So it's four four x square. Then just now we sub x or oh, is five. And this is x square is what x square is. 25 times 10 to the power of minus 6. So you just do calculator, la, but you don't do calculator to press 0 by 0 by 1, 0, 1 by 0 to the power of x. Eh. This is very childish. Eh. You'll get 0 mark for that, you know. Please uh, calculate these things uh, with your calculator, then get a 4 decimal place. Uh. This is very simple. I don't want to go through this very, very childish thing. Uh. So thinking, in the workplace, we have a first 4 term in binomial theorem in this estimate. 0, 1 by 9, 1.59, 1 okay? Do you think it works for accuracy? Why? Of course not. 1.9, if you use that, 0 0.59. You see, 0 0.5 uh, is it's 5 times 10 to the power minus 1. So actually, it is huge. This have to be very, very small. 0 0.01. Less than that. Or zero point zero five uh, I mean something like that. I mean less than zero point zero one. So this is later on when you use A level uh, mature series, you know that it will be very small. It X has to be less than zero point zero one. Okay? Because it's a progressive thing. Oh just now I make a mistake also. I thought it's zero point one. 
So then you next work example ah. Uh, application of binomial theorem. They ask you to expand this. Okay lah. Of course, I will use Pascal triangle lah. Because I'm lazy to press calculator lah. Can. Okay. Okay, so I use this term lah. I mean, I spend, spend, then I spend. Oh. The, the figure variance in the cucumbers or bean machines are invented by Sir Francis, don't know what lah, Galton at 17th century. It has seven rows of page and K page in the K row. Okay, when the ball are released from the top of the machine, the bows left to right on the page and do the thing. So this is the first bean and the egg bean lah. The probability of the girl uh, Ball landed and the R bean okay, given by R term in the binomial expansion of this where N is the number of of row or page in the machine and A and B are the constant. For symmetricals for symmetrically place batch a ball will bounce to the left or right with the equal probability A equals to B. 0 0.5 lah. Find the probability that the will landed in the third bin lah. Okay, actually in the third bin lah, this is you go to A level, we call it at the binomial probabilities lah. Okay, the Bayer probabilities lah. When you go to apply max lah. So it's very simple. So first of all, we have this term. Secondly, the general term we know that is this. N minus R, B, R lah. A equals to 0 0.5, B equals to 0 0.5 line. So now, the third bin is that it will go through the T3 lah. So T3 is what? R is equals to 2 lah. Okay then, it's very simple. So this is what? R equals to 2 ah. Okay. Third bin, first bin is nothing la, okay. Then, okay, third bin is this. So T3 la equals to 21 times A 0 0.5. Uh, 0 0.5, 21 times 0 0.5. Okay, 7 minus, 7 minus 3 is 4. 0 0.57 minus 3 is 3 lah. Okay, 0 0.5, luckily 0 0.5 because A is 0 0.5, B is 0 0.5 lah. Actually, the binomial can be 0 0.6 and 0 0.4 because of where the, where the skewed things are. So then he say that practice ah, he asked you to practice ah. Calculate the probability here at 15 on the Q turn. Okay, just T5 will do lor. R equals to 4 lor. Do you think a ball have a higher chance of falling near the bin in the future way? On the center, explain your answer. You have a higher chance of falling in the bin nearer or further away from the center of the machine. I don't know how to answer that, but I mean, apparently, uh, the ball will go into center better because it's easier, ma. So center will give you the the easiest way because the probability is higher. One seven. 21, 35, 35, 21, 7, 1. Right? This center. Lah. Okay. So now you have to do exercise 5B. Yeah. So exercise by expand each of the following binomial theorem uh, 2x plus 5, y, 5 and 2a minus 3. I think you do some questions here. Lah. Okay, tomorrow I will select some questions and then record to you. Thank you. Bye-bye.